The term fiber art was coined in the 50s, and today artists use different materials and techniques to create a broad range of works. Of course it evolved out of a function, but if you look back at the history of those functional things that were made, there's always an artistry there. You know, somebody didn't just um, make a rug with one color. You know, um, by hand, they put a picture, which is a tapestry, into the rug and told a story. Um, you know, they embellished their clothes. Um, they embellished their shoes. Uh, when they made a basket, they wove beautiful colors into it, or they wove colors that were significant to their culture and, again, told a story. Um, you can see that a lot in Native American basket, basketry. And, um, you know, so I think people have always taken um, and embellished the functional objects that they've made with artistry and decoration. So I think it's natural for these artists to move from a functional basis into a more of a fine art basis. Textile art is, is an art form in itself. I mean, it is just like drawing and painting. Um, it's a pattern that's repeated. You sit down and you design a repeat pattern. You, you come up with that schematic and, and figure out your color scheme and work from that and decide on how many colors it's gonna be in that piece um, is how that's determined um, and how that's woven. We've always had that interest in texture and color and pattern and texture just add to that sense of luxury. We're always striving to make things more beautiful. Uh, so we're always elevating it. Something that runs through as a thread through all of their stories is that a certain, a certain amount of love for textiles was handed down from usually the mother or grandmother um, or an aunt. So a woman in the family handed something down, taught them something. Um, they all do talk about someone influencing them when they were young, teaching them to knit or crochet or to sew, um, or maybe even not teaching them, but just doing that in front of them. And as a child, you know, of course you pick things up. It goes back to my childhood and playing with string in my grandmother's kitchen. Um, it is where I, learned the beginning of my craft. You know, I was watching her playing with a piece of string and what could be done with it. So I think that's where my journey with fiber has, has started from and where it continues to grow from is, you know, just that love of uh, experimentation. There are several uh, weavers in the show, so they use different kinds of looms. If you look at Amy Lee, she's, uh, she's weaving out of paper, um, and she's using natural dyes made from vegetables and insects to dye the material. Um, Jessica Pinsky um, is someone who very definitely, again, is using different kinds of fibers. Her work is really fiber art because her work is abstract, but it's the contrast between the different fibers that gives it the motion. The fiber comes from um, plants, animals. It is either a cellulose fiber, hemp is woven, cotton, wool is spun and turned into thread, which becomes something that we use on a loom to create a textile. Somebody like uh, Cynthia Lockhart, who comes from a fashion background and designing accessories professionally, she just, um, her, she uses the materials to achieve a really sculptural effect. Even though they're against the wall, they are reliefs. And she contrasts things like leather with satin and she'll, um, she'll ruffle them and she'll puff them up so that they have different kinds of textures. Some of them have societal concerns that you're trying to communicate. Um, some of them are uh, purely personal concerns, like Mariah Johnson. Um, I would say uh, Anne Weissman is drawing with her materials. If you look at her work, it's, um, it's very small. And there's stitches in there that are definitely done by hand. 
and she stitched over and over and over again and layered those stitches in to achieve again a kind of a sculptural effect. She's in, she's in essence drawing with the stitches. The artists are different. They have they have different stories behind their work. A lot of Amy's work has to do with the fact that she is Korean American and it ties back to her ancestry. She very definitely went to Korea to learn those techniques and she uses traditional Korean forms. Um, the ducks, I guess they, they go back to a tradition in Korea where you are given, given a sculpture of a duck at your wedding. Mariah Johnson's dolls just express the beauty and vitality that we as a people have. She just seems to breathe life into her creations. Um, and they're really wonderful to look at. And you walk away and you're like, I remember that piece because it really spoke to me. Um, and that's just part of the essence that she imparts into her work. Jar Norman um, uses fiber as a way to talk about the ecological environment and how things are being discarded. Um, so she incorporates found objects into her weavings and they're really beautiful in that they're treated like little vessels that capture the essence of something that might be lost. So there, there are a number of um, issues that are addressed in this show. Uh, through all of the artists that are involved and the types of fibers that they use.